Today I'm going to show you how to sew my easiest Christmas stocking. This pattern is available below in a link in the description box or if you're watching from our website alohasewingcompany.com, welcome and sew along. This pattern has a bundle that includes five different sizes, a super big jumbo three and a half foot one the size of my toddler, all the way to a small mini one that's great for holding gift cards and money and stuff like that. The first thing you want to do is print out the pattern pieces for the size stocking that you're going to make. Then you're going to gather your supplies. You can use any kind of fabric you want. Cotton, flannel, fleece, and velvet are most commonly used. And if you want to add some texture to your stocking cuff, use some Sherpa, faux fur, fleece, something like that. I'm using faux fur today. Today I'm making the medium size, but you make them all the same exact way. So you're going to get two stocking pieces that you cut out using the pattern piece that is printable. You have to cut it mirrored so that you have one facing one way and one facing the other so that when you stack them right sides together they line up properly. To do that just stack your fabric with the pretty sides together and trace your pattern piece out and cut it out at the same time. Then with them still right sides together. So all the way around your stocking using a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance, but not sewing across the top. Here is mine all sewn. You can see I used about a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and just be careful going around those curves and sew slowly with a short narrow stitch if you need to. If you're using a fabric that will fray like cotton, you can go around your edges with a zigzag stitch after you clip some slits around all your curves, or you can use some pinking shears, which I highly recommend. Using pinking shears um, will help your fabric not to fray, and also it helps so you don't have to cut slits in all of your curves and stuff like that with your scissors, so that when you flip this right side out, your fabric won't pucker around all of those curves. Make sure you don't clip through your stitches. You can clip kind of close, but not too close. Here is mine all clipped. You can see if I pull the fabric, it won't fray even though this is cotton, which is a fraying woven fabric. Now we're gonna flip this right side out. And I like to also go in with a chopstick or my finger and smoothen out all of my seams so that they lay nice and flat. After you have that done, go ahead and take it to your iron and iron out any wrinkles if you need to. Now let's go ahead and assemble your hanging loop. Get your pattern piece with the right sides together. The pretty sides of your fabric should be kissing. And then sew across the long raw edges using about a 1 4th of an inch seam allowance. If you don't want to sew your hanging loop, you can always use a piece of ribbon that you cut the length of your hanging loop pattern piece. Now go ahead and get your safety pin, a larger one works best, and put it into the fold of one of the open ends of your tube. Press your safety pin inside of the tube and then cinch it all the way to the other end of the opening of your tube. After you've gotten there, go ahead and just carefully pull the fabric over to the safety pin until the fabric flips right side out. Now I like to go in with a chopstick or my finger if my hanging loop is for one of the bigger stockings and press out my seam. We want to make sure that you press this flat with your iron and when you do that make sure that the seam is in the middle of one of your sides and then you're going to close that seam together so that the raw edges are both matched up at the ends. I go ahead and clip that and just put it to the side for now so that we can make our stocking cuff. You can use the same fabric or a coordinating fabric, any kind of fabric you want to. I like to add some texture, so I'm using a Sherpa today. Go ahead and line up the raw edges on the short side with the right sides of your fabric together and sew down that side using about a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Here's mine sewn together, just right here on one side. And then you're going to open this up and roll it up halfway so that it makes a cuff. When you make the cuff, you should have two raw edges on one side and a fold on the other. This is my seam. 
I'm going to match up the seam so that the wrong sides of the fabric are kissing. The right side of your fabric should be on the outside and on the interior of your cuff. I'm going to clip that seam together and then go to the other end of where that clipped piece is and clip that. Then I'm going to put both of my clips together and clip on both sides. This is quartering off this cuff piece so that when we sew it onto our stocking, we sew it on evenly. Just remember you're pinning or clipping the raw edges like I have done here, not the folded part of your cuff. Now we wanna quarter off our stocking. So fold it in half at the top and find the center point of your stocking and make a small slit using your scissors or you can mark it with a marking tool. And if you're doing the slit, just small enough so that you can see it, about an eighth of an inch if that. This won't show in your finished stocking. Now we've quartered this off by making the two side seams and the two slits. We're gonna now match up our pinned or clipped points of our stocking cuff with those four quarters of our stocking. Now this back seam on our cuff, we wanna match up with the back of our stocking. So open up your stocking and lay your stocking cuff right inside. The side seam of that stocking cuff should match up with that back slit that you made that you want to be the back of your stocking. Then you're gonna go around the entire top of this and pin or clip at the side seam, at the front center, and at the other side seam. Now let's get your hanging loop. Remember the seam should be closed and the raw edges should be at the top. And we are going to find the back of our stocking. So make sure this is facing whichever way you want it to. And we're gonna place that in between the fabric for our cuff and the fabric for the main stocking piece. We're gonna sandwich it right in the middle in the back of our stocking so that it lines up right next to that side seam right here on my left side. Go ahead and pin or clip that in place and then sew all the way around the top of your stocking using about a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Remember to always begin and finish with a back stitch to hold those stitches in place. Then we're just going to rotate the fabric as we sew using a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Now, if you are making a smaller stocking like I am, this is how you'll sew it. If you are going to make a larger stocking, you can remove that free arm from your sewing machine and just rotate the fabric around your sewing machine, kind of how you would like a pant leg. Here's my stocking with the cuff sewn onto place. Now you can trim the seam allowance down if you want to, but it's not going to show so you don't have to. Go ahead and pull your cuff out of your stocking, pull it all the way up, and then you're going to roll it down over top of your stocking. When you do this, you'll see the hanging loop pop out, and the best part about it is there are no raw edges and no seams showing across the top of your stocking and you are completely finished. If you want to embroider your stocking, I would suggest doing that on the cuff piece before you sew it together, um, especially for your smaller stockings because that can be difficult to get onto your embroidery machine and you can embellish it, do anything you want to to decorate your stockings, make them matching, make them for gifts. This one here is for our angel tree donation gift. I love creating sewing patterns for Christmas stockings and other Christmas stuff. We have a ton of different ones available. So when you go to that link down below in the description box, make sure to check out our other ones as well. Mm -hmm.
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun sewing along with me. Please, please, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see all of our easy sewing patterns as they're released. Visit alohasewingcompany.com or the link is down below in the description box on YouTube to see all of our super easy sewing patterns that you can print at home so you can start to sew faster. We make sewing patterns for literally everything from baby items, kids clothes, decorations, holiday stuff and gifts, bags and more. And before you go, mahalo.